Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So it's summer again and that means you're going to find a lot of barbecues on the side of the road while scrapping. And if you're like me and only have a car, you may not be able to fit the entire barbecue into your vehicle, but there are still some goodies that you want to take off that barbecue. And the biggest one is the hose regulator. These hoses have a really nice brass end to them. And a lot of people think if they put a magnet to this um, circle item here, because the magnet sticks, they believe that it's going to be steel. However, the entire outer casing is actually cast aluminum. There is only a little bit of steel inside of that, and they are very easy to take apart. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to take it apart, show you how to get clean cast aluminum and the brass out of there, and how to make some money from a barbecue that you, some people would just drive by. As well, I'm not going to touch on this too much, but sometimes you will also find the um, nozzles or the, um, the, the knobs do have brass. Some of them are solid brass. However, the more common ones are not brass anymore. It just has a little tip. These are from an older model. And as you can see, I got very lucky with these ones. This is about eight ounces of brass. This one's about two ounces of brass. And currently, clean brass right now is going for $2.95 Canadian, so it's a great find. Um, but again, these do have a nice chunk of brass. I have a scale here that I'm going to show you how much brass is in there, and again, how to separate these items. Um, I do have a number of different nozzles. Some of them, actually, here is another hose. This one has some brass connectors here. It has some brass on the end. It also has the brass inside. Some of them are less intricate. They will just have the brass here. As well, some of them will have the clamp that is brass. If I put a file to this, I'm gonna just scratch it, show you there, that is brass, okay? However, not all of them are brass. This one, I will scratch this, okay? As you can see, it is not brass. Um, if I put a magnet to it, it is actually steel, okay? Um, but it does need to come off of this uh, regulator in order to get clean um, cast aluminum. So first thing, here we go. I'm going to take the brass off of this. This is one that has the black cover off of it. You could use um, a ratchet set to get out this brass. Unfortunately, I don't have the proper ratchet set to go in there. So the easiest way in my opinion, is actually to take an angle grinder. And all I'm gonna do is actually cut down the top and then the bottom, and then I'm just gonna peel it off. So uh, an angle grinder, in my opinion, is probably the one of the greatest tools in my uh, scrapping arsenal. Um, I'm gonna do that for you right now. Um, and again, I'm also going to show you this one later because this is also brass. Um, so I'm actually gonna use this one for this experiment um, after I get that hose but I will do, let's say this one, okay? So I'm gonna just cut that, I'm gonna put it into my uh, vise first. Okay, there you go, I'm gonna start like this. I always make sure when I use a grinder, um, I put proper safety glasses on. I also wanna make sure that I put gloves on. Um, I also actually, while I'm on the topic, Here's another one that I have. This hose, if you have these hose, this is stainless steel. But as you can see, look at all the brass on there as well. There's some really nice brass. And again, to get that brass out, all I really have to do is make two incisions, one on the top, one on the bottom. This hose will come out and the brass will be in two pieces, so I can use that as well. So another model that you'll have. But again, as I said, this is stainless steel and stainless steel is going for about 75 cents a pound. Um, so. If I was to run into a hose like this, I would definitely make sure that I get the entire stainless steel hose, okay? So for the sake of this video, just to show you this model, I did cut uh, closer to the end, but I do have the rest of that hose. Okay, I'm gonna hook up my angle grinder. Um, I am also gonna make sure that I am holding this just so it doesn't spin. Sometimes when you are using the angle grinder, uh, it might spin, so if it starts to spin, I will just grab it with some needle nose pliers uh, just so I don't have to put my hands near it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put these ones on because 
It is muggy in here and my glasses are fogging up. That's one, and I may even be able to just pull it off. No, it is a harder plastic, so I'm just gonna turn it. Actually, I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> I just had to turn this. Wasn't thinking, that's okay. So I just wanna tighten as well. As you can see, it may be a little warm still to the touch, so you gotta be careful of that, but a really nice, clean brass piece. And now all I'm gonna do is actually just take a pair of vice grips. Gonna put it on there. And I'm just gonna turn it. So look at that nice piece of brass. And I'm just gonna weigh this because I am curious just as of now. And that took me all of 10 seconds to do. So I put it on my scale here, make sure it goes to zero. And this is pretty heavy. I'm gonna say three and a half ounces. 2.05 ounces, so just from that. Okay, and as you can see here, I've got over 10 of them here. Okay, and um, it's a great place. Now, getting to this, as I said, this is going to be outer cast aluminum. Um, this clamp is steel, okay? But um, I am going to, as I said, use this one. Or where did the one I just have? <laughs> oh, it's in my vice, what am I doing? So I'm gonna just take this now, and I'm actually gonna leave the hose on for this um, opening this case because it allows me to have some type of handle. I don't have to get too close to it. And in order to open these, I'm gonna have to use a heavy mallet or a mini sledgehammer because as you can see, the cast aluminum is crimped on there together. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a heavier mallet here. I'm gonna put it on my vise and I'm just gonna give it a couple whacks. So as you can see, it breaks open. Okay, and if I actually just now take it, I'm gonna try putting it into my vise with this. I'm gonna use a pry bar. There you go. So, now I have a spring in here. So this is obviously what's going to be the metal. I got my magnet there, so metal. This is gonna have metal as well. This is the rubberized um, mechanism that goes inside. And now, if I look, the outer side is still non-magnetic. However, this little circle is. Okay, so what I have to do now is I'm just gonna put this back in my vise. I'm just gonna punch this out. Okay, as you can see on the other side, it is a little connected. So just gonna put it on top here. I like to use just a, this is just a, a screwdriver that I have that I can no longer use. I like to use these as a punch. So I'm just gonna punch that out. Okay, so there is my piece that is ma uh, magnetic. So as you can see, there it is. And if I touch this now, no more magnetic force. So this is going to be cast aluminum as well. This one, is also cast aluminum. However, I do need to make sure it comes out of my brass now. And again, I'm just gonna put it back in my vise like this. I'm going to just uh, unscrew this. Okay, a vise strip pair is great for this. So I have, now I'm gonna weigh this for you. It's not gonna be 
a lot, but again, if I was to bring that in with steel in it, I'm gonna get dirty uh, cast price, which is five cents. I could put this into my steel or tin shred pile. Um, you're gonna get more this day and age for tin and shred. It's about 10 cents a pound. Um, so definitely would not wanna put this into my dirty cast, but as clean cast aluminum now, clean cast aluminum is going for 45 to 60 cents a pound now. Um, and I have 6.15 ounces right there. So definitely gonna make more money as clean cast. And it took me all but three seconds. You still wanna make sure the little pieces of st steel, it all adds up. I put it into a container and I will put it into my screws and nuts and bolts. Um, and I will get still steel price for this. Okay, um, and unfortunately, oh, there are another piece. Unfortunately, this is gonna be garbage, this little uh, rubberized um, piece to it. Here's some more steel. All right, and as I was saying, the last thing, my hose, I still have some brass on here, so I wanna make sure I get that. This clamp, I'm gonna do the same thing with my angle grinder. I'm just gonna cut down the side here. going to be a little hot and that's okay I didn't get burned yet but I'm just gonna now I could do both sides of that but I think if I just put a pair of pliers on it now or just work it out this way it should come off put this under that is crimped on there nicely just like a garden hose actually there you go so there is my piece of brass I'm gonna Put this back to zero and just from that one hose i have 2.75 ounces okay um and it took me all but eight minutes to do this one as you can see as well here's another model of it this is just uh, one of those uh, gas caps on there okay this is metal but as you can see here look at that nice little extension piece here okay it all adds up this is nice clean brass put that on there i got four ounces now a great item to get as i said you definitely want to make sure that you check the nozzles uh, but this is in my opinion the easiest item to grab on a barbecue uh, if you cannot grab the whole thing or if you don't have tools the only tool you really need on the side of the rose is just a pair of tin snippers to hit the hose um, i have um, a small little um, um, knife that I can use to get the hose and I will just bring these regulators home. So hopefully you found that informative. Hopefully that helped you. Um, great item to get, as I said, for brass and cast aluminum um, as well. Um, you know, you're gonna find a lot of them while scrapping. So please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.